I'm a little disappointed that we just didn't give it our best shot. You know, I thought we played hard. We really played hard. We played violent like we wanted to do just to have a chance to hold up against those guys. And I thought we did that. We just didn't play very smart. You know, we talked about turnover ratio. We killed us last year. I mean, you don't come in here in the SEC opponent. And I think we had three turnovers to nothing in the first half. So we didn't give ourselves a chance to, to really move the football and get going. And so they're a little disappointed, but that's their good football team. We've learned a lot for ourselves. And we got to get back on the horse here next week and go play one of the best teams in our conference and go try to get our first win. Big story of the day today was for the Catamounts was stopping the run game in that first half. What was the game plan there? Well, we thought we got better in that area with our tackling and just our size up, up front and be able to uh, rotate guys with our depth. So we were, we've been so bad at that last two years. And so I, that was that makes me happy coming out of this game. I can look at that. That's a really good running football team. And I thought our defense held up good. So I think we've got some good things to look for to, as we get into the season. The message for the Catamount fans is get to Cullowee next Saturday. You, you talk to them one more time. Well, that's what I said, man. You know, the key for us is getting everybody in the training room. I'm sure we're beat up a little bit playing these big guys. And, uh, but, man, we played extremely hard. But let's get back to Cullowee. Let's find a way to uh, get as healthy as we can so we can go play 100 miles an hour this next Saturday. We're going to need the fans. Listen, if we got to sell out there, we'll all, all out white. Um, it will give our players the incentive to go out there and play their, their butts off. Even if they're sore and still beat up. So we need them to give us a, a, a chance to win that first game. Coach Bell, thank you. We'll see you in a bus. All right, thanks. That so was the head coach. So oh, you talking to KJ Jefferson on your way up. Yeah. Just uh, what did you think of him today? Well, I told him, I thought he's, he's but I didn't know he threw it as well as he did. Uh, just seeing him in person. But he's a big body kid who, who you know, I, I I think there's two things that this Arkansas team did a really good job to go back and to be able to compete this year. And, and, and in this league, you better have a really depth at the defense line and be good there. And they went and addressed that. And then they got an all-star quarterback. So when you got those two things, you know, you always have better things in other areas, but those two things give you a chance. And so this team's got a chance, I think, to, to make some noise in the SEC. And then you were talking about getting, uh, y'all were getting some stops in the first half, but those turnovers were on y'all's side of the field and gave them short fields to work with. What do you think of, you know, the, not only the timeliness of those turnovers, but where they happened? Yeah, I, you know, we just didn't give ourselves a chance. And we, that's what we've been preaching. That's the most disappointing thing coming out of here is we didn't take care of the football. We knew we had to, you know, we need to be plus three on our end at the halftime even be in the game. But we were minus three in. That hurt us a lot. Last year was the first time in my coaching career I've ever been in the minus. We were in the minus last year. We made a concerted effort all offseason. A lot of it is our quarterback situation. We got to figure it out. We're not, you know, we're not the offense that we've been in the past right now because we hadn't settled on a guy that can go out there and produce a lot of points. Stay away from turnovers. So we got to find that guy before next week. You wanted to limit the big plays, and I guess very early on they got a big one. Let's talk about that. Yeah, I mean, they're, you know, when you're playing athletes like this, we, we didn't fit it right. Our corner came up inside, got caught inside, and so he gets down the sideline. We had, you know, he sort of outruns our angles. Uh, we got to turn that thing back in to our health. And uh, so little things like that, hopefully, we'll learn from. And playing a really good football team like that, but that, they made some big plays um, that really got them over the top and got, got separation from us there in the first half. What do you think of just the experience of coming to Little Rock as a whole? I know a big game to start off against an SEC opponent here. Well, listen, I think there's nothing like great live reps, man. You can go practice all you want until you play a really good football team and live reps. That exposes you and some things you need to get better at. I love it, man. I could have put, we could, let's go play another quarter, a quarter and a half. I mean, I don't care what the score is. We, we're going to get, we got better today because of the competition we played. Coach, your defense did a really good job in the first half stopping the Arkansas run game. Did you do anything in particular to prepare for it? No, we really didn't. We just worked so much on our fits and, and making sure we're disciplined, making sure we're playing together and we trust in each other. You know, defense is nothing but loving guys fitting on every play properly and trusting each other that they'll all do the, the same. And um, we, we weren't very good at that last year. We got out of our, our, our holes a little bit, our gaps, and we didn't trust a lot of people. Now, I think last year, the last three games, we started seeing that from this football team. And I think today even showed that, man, we're – we're, we're trusting each other. We're going to play for each other, and um, that's good to see going into the season. Anybody else? Appreciate it. All right, thank, thank you, Coach. Appreciate it. Thank you.